Hey, hey, welcome back to the Mindset Theory Podcast. It's May 17th. The year's flying by, like we say, every single week. And I'm so excited to be here with you today. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm really good. Had a really awesome weekend, spent it outside with the family, got lots of stuff done, and uh, feeling pumped up for this week ahead. Yeah, so fun. Spring is in the air. I love that the sun is out, getting lots of yard work done, spending as much time soaking up that vitamin D as much as possible. Oh, so good. I loved it. I got a little bit of sun, but (laughs) feels good. So today, uh, Sarah and I really want to bring a topic to you that we've been chatting together about a lot. And uh, it's on perspective. And I mean, who's right in situations? And Why is it that you're right or you think somebody's wrong? And what's your perspective on the situation? Right. So this is a a topic that I wanted to discuss because of what's happening in the world today, right? So having a lot of conversations with family and friends and people and, you know, seeing it online about this whole COVID and should you get your vaccine? And, you know, it's being like shoved down our throats on, well, you should get this because this is what the news says. Well, why is your news right? And what I'm studying, wrong. So what makes it right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think that's the hardest part that the human race is having to deal with right now. Because there's so much shit out there that people don't know what to listen to or what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, should I get it or shouldn't I get it? Or, you know, if I do, are people going to say things? And it's like... What do you feel for yourself is right? Take everyone out of the equation. Like, how do you feel about it? What is your perspective on it? Because, I mean, just like anything else in life, you did everything you did for a reason. And that's usually the reason that you stand behind for doing whatever it is you acted on. So right now, like Sarah said, in this day and age with everything going on, we have a perspective about everything. But like even even me with the mindset work that I have and the strong mindset that I have, it still weighs on you of all of the things going on. And it's like, holy shit, like your your family and friends are messaging you and saying, are you doing this? Are you doing this? And they want your opinion. And it's like, you need to do this. And it's like, just leave, leave me alone and I'll do what I want to do. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So like. And it is, it's a mind fuck right now because who do you believe, right? Like there's doctors out there saying one thing and then there's doctors out there saying another thing. And then there's like companies involved and people who maybe shouldn't be involved. And you're like, well, who do you trust, right? And this is where your intuition is going to come in. And this is where, you know, meditation is so important. Writing down and journaling is so important because my perspective is going to be different from your perspective. And I am at a stage in my life, actually my entire life, I've never really let anybody persuade me in any which direction. I kind of always just did what my intuition told me to. And, you know, maybe that does make me a black sheep of my family, but it got me to where I am today. You know, I'm pretty headstrong. I I know what it is that I want. And I won't, I won't be persuaded persuaded. And some people can call it, you know, follow the masses. Some people can call it conformity, whatever it is. But I really dig deep into my research and I, and I, I go with my intuition, what my intuition tells me. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. And that, that's the biggest thing right now. And there's so many, so many, I just find it like, I, I have to say, I find it insane how, there are so many people dead set on what they want to do right now and their decisions. And then you 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 hear the, the government coming out and all this shit saying, we're going to pay you to do this. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I don't want to make this political, but that's the sad reality right now of the world is that's all it is. And like everything you know right now is you know it. Because that's what the media is filling your head with. Like, do you yeah. ever turn on the news or the radio right now and hear one positive thing about anything? Do you? Unfortunately not. But there is, you know what? No, 
I'm taking that back. I am seeing a lot of positive things online right now. You know, yeah. I don't really watch the news, but seeing positive things online, you know, like so proud of my fellow Canadians out there for protesting. Um, I'm with you guys all the way for your rights. And it, and that's all it is, right? It's your right. Whether you want to go one way or the other, it's your right. It's not mine. It's not Kaylee's. It's not the government. It's your right. You get to choose. And if you choose one way, good for you. I'm not going to harbor on you. But if I choose one way, you don't have the right to harbor on me for my decision because it's my decision. It's my perspective. And I'm the only one who has that right as I'm a so human glad. being. I'm so glad you said that, Sarah, because it's so true. So true, mm -hmm. right? Every And regardless of right now what's going on in the world, all this shit, before this happened and life was normal or whatever it was before this, there's decisions that you made in every single day that people didn't agree with. But did it change your decision? Some people it does because you allow them to change it. But it's ultimately our decision with everything we want to do and with decision before you make that, it's your perspective on how you're going to make the decision. Mm hmm. Right. If you agree yeah. with it, if you don't, if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it, that's all your perspective on a situation which makes you act and, and determine what happens by the decision that you make. And it's Let nobody me, else's. I want to share something with you. So I chose not to have children. Not that there's something wrong with me and I can't bear children. I chose that was a decision I made. I didn't actually want to bring a human being. I didn't want to be responsible for another human being. That was my choice. But people look at me with pity. They look at me like I'm something wrong, like I don't have ovaries or that my body isn't capable of doing it. That was my decision. But when I tell people, like the looks I get are, are ridiculous. Well, why? Why don't you want to have kids? It's your right as a woman. Yeah. And my right as a fucking human being is to make my own damn decisions. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's the mindset of, of humanity is if you're a woman, you're supposed to have children. And I'm supposed to sweep the kitchen floor too, but I don't do that. Yeah, exactly. Right. And it takes people like you, Sarah, to stand up and say, I chose I didn't want kids. And that's what I did. So if you look at me and say, well, why didn't you have kids? Or can you not have kids? No, I just chose I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. People are like, wow. Like, it takes something like that for people to realize, well, I don't have to do that if I don't want to. But people are so, in a sense, brainwashed to think this is what a woman's supposed to do. So live your life that way. Yep, exactly. Right? And same with, like, education. I chose at 16 that it wasn't for me. I didn't want to sit in school and I didn't want to learn things that didn't interest me. So I went and, and then I worked. Then I decided, okay, maybe I need more education. Maybe I it's time for me to learn a skill. And that's all it was is I wanted to learn a skill. So I paid an absurd amount of money to learn just enough of that skill to get one job. I got one job out of hundreds of resumes that I sent out. I got one job out of that skill. And then I decided this wasn't for me. So what do I do is I keep learning. I keep learning and I grow and I learn and I grow and I share. And that's, that's what I want to do. I don't want to change dirty diapers. Like I don't want to be responsible for a human being. And that's my choice. It doesn't make me wrong for not leaving, I don't know, what do they call it? Like you leave a legacy. So like when my dad dies, my family name dies. Like that's it because I, I have a married name now. When I die, that's it. My line is done. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Right? So that, that's like, that's why we titled this Who's Right? Every single person is right for the decision that they make. Yeah. So Kaylee, when you decided that you no longer wanted to work in your corporate, like what were the responses you got? Oh my God. I got, um, are you serious? Like you're actually going to do that? I wouldn't, I would never do that. 
Like, I would never do that. You know what you're giving up? I said, yeah. Well, that's crazy. Like, you're crazy. That's crazy. Why would you do that? I'm like, why wouldn't I? You're choosing to work at it. Like, the people saying this to me, I said, you're choosing what you're doing because that's what you want to do. And I'm choosing what I want to do because that's what I want to do. Doesn't mean you have to agree with it. You can call me crazy, but it it blows my mind that the people that were saying those things to me aren't happy with what they're doing. Yeah. And I'm like, Here's, you can do what you want. Yeah. Here's the beautiful thing about being a human being is we have what's called free will. We have free will. We can do, be, say what we want, right? It doesn't make me right. It doesn't make you wrong. It actually makes for a fun debate. I yeah. love having debates, right? Because then you get to learn another person's perspective, right? So Kaylee and I always talk back and forth because we learn each other's perspectives. You know, I'm choosing not to get the vaccine. I'm a healthy woman with no underlining conditions. So mm -hmm. I'm choosing. That's my perspective, right? But my family wants to get it. Great. If that's what you want to do, that is your opinion. That is your perspective. That is your right as a human being. You have choices. Absolutely. Like you can't come back to me and tell me that my choice is wrong. It's my choice. Same with work. When I left my government job and people said I was crazy because I was leaving a pension behind and I was leaving security behind. Well, guess what? A lot of the people that I work with are no longer in that position. So it wasn't so secure, right? And I'm living out my dream and I'm doing what I want to do. And it's my time and it's my life. And it was my choice. Just like they say, my body, my choice, mm -hmm. right? That's so true, Sarah. And I'm the same way. I mean, I'm, I'll tell you something right now that every single thing you do in life somebody's going to question it. Yep. That's everything. how it goes. Everything. Everything. Like, Why'd every you choose that color? You're going to paint your house that color? Why'd you choose that color? It's everything. <laughs> Why'd you cut your grass that way? Why don't you do it in diagonals? Why did you do it in crop circles? <laughs> right everything you know, you know why because everybody has a different perspective on what it is that you're doing because the way i do this isn't the way that my neighbor does it and the way my neighbor doesn't isn't the way that the other side of their house does it it's every single thing you do people do it differently question. than you and they question right? it yeah. yeah and the why'd only you that? why'd you buy that car yeah <laughs> why didn't you buy that car why'd you go ford <laughs> why didn't you go dodge I know. Why do you drink your coffee black? Why do you, why do you put sugar in it? Why do you eat sugar? Why don't you eat, why do you eat green apples? Why not eat red apples? Like, holy fuck. <laughs> let me just live my fucking life. I know, right? Like, what? <laughs> you know, and I it's... shit every Tuesday. Are you going to come to my house and ask me why I didn't shit on Wednesday? Jeez. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking true, though. And the thing that, the thing that is funny is that when you see somebody being successful and doing things that are successful, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, Sarah, but I feel like that's one of the times in life where people will want your perspective on what you're doing because they want to know how to do it. Yeah. So it's like, you're doing really good for yourself. What is it that you're doing? Can you teach me? Yeah. But then they'll just keep asking you and asking you and asking you and they'll never do anything about it mm -hmm. because they're too afraid to take the leap. That what if. Absolutely. Well, let me tell you, life is fucking short. We are put on a short leash as we are witnessing right now in the world. We don't know what the hell is going to happen tomorrow. So who fucking cares? Try. Try it. Try something that you've never done before. Because mm -hmm. we're not guaranteed tomorrow. And oh the, my you know. God. Watching the news and all the media, uh, apparently it's it's truth. Like, we are not guaranteed. There's millions of people out there who can't work in person right now. Well, here's the beautiful thing. This is something that people need to understand, and this is my perspective, and you can take it with a grain of salt, is that the world is never going back to the way it is. doesn't matter how much money they're going to offer you. It doesn't matter how much they're telling you that if you just do this, it's going to go back to the way it is. 
it will never go back. You can never go back. It is quantum physics that you cannot go back into the past. You can only go into the future. That's it. You cannot create a time machine to take you to the past. You could create one to take you to the future. And so yeah, right well, now, our, our working the way it used to be is no longer. And let's just, let's just show a little bit of perspective here. In 1900, 90% of the population worked for themselves. Bakers, blacksmiths, seamstress, farmers, you know, people who own side carts with, and grocery stores and whatever. 90% of people work for themselves. Only 10% work for somebody else. In 1980, 80 short years later, 90% of the population worked for somebody else and only 10% own their own business. Well, guess what? We're changing again. Because now all these small businesses are shut down and only large corporations are open. So now it's forcing you to find another means of work. And let me tell you, you have it in you to do, be, and have whatever you desire. Ain't and that that's my choice. perspective. Mm -hmm. and my I, name is Sarah, and I'm done speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree on your perspective, Sarah. And, and the, the reason I agree on it and why I think you're right um, and I mean, there's going to be people, people that think maybe it's not right, but why I think you're right is because I lived that this past year. Mm -hmm. I made the decision this past year to change what I didn't like and to work for myself. And that's what I'm doing now. And like you just said, life's fucking short. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It's short. It really makes you take into perspective what it is that you're doing every single day and how you choose to wake up and go to bed every single day. Like I literally just blinked and my daughter's three months old. I literally blinked and my son's two. I blinked and my house is almost built. That's how quick life goes. And I'm telling you, you have the choice every single day to do what it is you want to do. And talking about going back in time, it's never going to happen because we're still not cavemen. Yeah. Right? There was cavemen. If you do research in, on history, there was cavemen. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know if we've talked about it on our podcast, Sarah, but you've said at one time, like, the first time they seen fire, they did a dance around it thinking like, whoa, what is this? Now we turn on a light in our house, not even questioning how it happened. Nope. Like when yeah. the light bulb was made and fire used to be a source of light, did they ever create the light bulb and then throw the one they created that worked against the wall and say, fuck that, we're not doing that, we got to go back? No. So, Kaylee, the first computer, in-home computer, where we could do things on a screen, on a monitor, was in 1995. So you were one year old when that came out. But yeah. I remember I remember when that came out. I remember when we got our first computer. Now here we are on opposite sides of the country. And I'm looking at you. I'm fucking mm -hmm. looking at you right now. <laughs> and we're on opposite sides of the country. Like things are evolving at such rapid speeds. Mm -hmm. But here's exactly. the beautiful thing. Everything that you desire, you can learn on YouTube. If you want to build a, I was just uh, following a, a woman on TikTok today. She was a nanny. She was a nanny for an orthodontist and the orthodontist wanted her to do a little bit of social media. Well, guess what? She is now a seven figure multimedia guru and she shared exactly how she learned it. She's like, I learned it on YouTube. She's like, I learned everything. I learned about marketing. I learned about email campaigns. I learned how to grow social media. And now she's got multiple clients and she's living her dream life. She bought a van. She transformed it into a little mini home and she's traveling all across the globe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people who say that they can't do it, you're lying to yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you look at the story Sarah just said about not wanting kids, this lady decided too. I don't want kids. This is what I want for my life. And she's doing it. Yeah. That's the thing. If you look at people that are successful and people that are living the life happy and you're like, I want to be them. How are they always so happy? And I'm not. It's There's a difference. They're doing it and you're not. It's that yeah. simple. You know what? The, you want to know what the secret is? Get off autopilot. Mm-hmm. 
turn off your fucking cruise control because you are getting up doing the exact same thing every day, day in and day out. You know, you're taking the same route to the bathroom. You're doing the same routine in the mirror. You even wash yourself in the same way when you're in the shower. Like it's the same thing every day, drinking coffee from the same hand. Try brushing your teeth with your opposite hand. It's weird. Just get off the autopilot and then you'll have a new perspective. You'll have a new awareness. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. And, and doing something that simple literally sparks something in your mind where you're like, wow, I am on autopilot. What else am I doing the same every day? And if you, if you monitor your day for a whole week, you will see if you change nothing, how your life's going to be in 10 years from now. You know what? Send us an email at mindsettheory101 at gmail.com because I have a week worksheet that I would love for you to do monitor, monitor, monitoring how you live out a week and how much time. Do you know that we spent an average of 30 years sleeping? And only, Kaylee, this blew my fucking mind. We only spend 115 days laughing. Wow. Out of our entire life. So I was I was watching Jay Shetty on uh, on Instagram and he talks about I shared it on my stories today. Um, I'm going to share it to my highlights. So check me out at Sarah Easter Sarah dot Easterbrook 04 on Instagram. I'll share it to my highlights under mindset um, and take a look because he talks about what in a lifetime our average of what we spend doing 30 years sleeping. Yeah, and it's like seven years watching TV. Seven years. Could you imagine if you stopped watching TV for seven years, how much money you could make? Isn't that insane? It's crazy. Yeah. Awesome. Also, if you want to learn how to earn more money and you want to create a new life into this new age that we're going into because that's what's happening, check us out on Facebook at Mindset Theory on May 26th and 27th at 11 a.m. Eastern. We are going to be hosting a Reignite Your Life workshop. So this is a two-day master class where we're going to teach you everything that we learned to create, you know, six, seven-figure uh, businesses. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so good. And uh, mm -hmm. if, like I said, if you, or like Sarah said, if you want to do that, check us out. It's Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and we're going to give you all the things. So, all um, the things. it's going to be awesome. It really yeah. is. And I'll drop, uh, in the comments below, I'll drop a link to that, uh, that worksheet. So you can, you can, uh, what did I say? You can monitor, yeah, I'm gonna say monitor monetize, but we want to do that too. Monitor <laughs> your weekly uh, activity. You'll be, yeah. you'll be surprised. Oh yeah. When you, when you showed me that Sarah, I was like, when you take into consideration those things, just that worksheet alone, it's like, holy shit, I need to change my day. I need mm -hmm. to change what I'm doing. Yep. Because here's the thing. We all have the same amount of time. I don't give a shit how busy you are. We all have the same amount of time. And there's people out there with six, seven, eight, ten kids you know, living life of their dreams and creating massive success and financial and time freedom. So it's just how do you prioritize your time? And a lot of us don't do an inventory of our time. And when you do the inventory of your time, you're going to realize where you can shave time off mm -hmm. because time is our most valuable asset. And it's something we never get back. Yeah, that's right. So what is the perspective you have on your time right now? And how can you change it? And that's totally all up to you. We can give you all the things that you need to know to do that, but you can have all the knowledge in the world. And if you don't have the mindset to change it, nothing will change. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we will see you there. Um, if you ever have any questions or a topic you want Sarah and I to touch on, uh, send us once again an email at mindset3101 at gmail.com. Um, comments, questions, <laughs> your perspective on anything you talk, we talked about today. We'd love to hear from you. Um, send us an email. And if not, we will see you on our masterclass, the 26th, 27th, and, uh, we'll, we'll see you again on Thursday. Bye.